Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of the Patreon server tour. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day, and we have a whole bunch of stuff to look at today. So let's just jump right into it. We are looking at Shinx's first, right? Yes. Yes. All right, lead the way. What? So, a, show me things and stuff. Okay, so this is the first thing I built, and it's just a pretty basic Western little hotel thing before I decided what I really wanted to do. Okay. It's just something I kind of place down on a whim. Um, I just want to start here because this is like the the least relevant thing. That Fair I built. enough. But over this way is where you get into like the two meat and potatoes builds. Okay. Um, and we'll go this way first. This is my more technical building site. Okay. Um, we've got an iron farm there mm -hmm. that was not exactly built correctly the first time, but it got there with the help from uh, Gru and Notch. Um, my nether portal with a little aquarium. I have uh, two fish, Bob the second and Bob the second two. Okay. And storage room and some other stuff. Nothing too interesting the coolest part about this though is i actually have six cave spider spawners oh okay. that can all be activated at once and it, it just makes a really productive string farm oh, cool and an interesting thing about the geography is that i basically just live in a mine shaft because there's they're just everywhere okay gotcha yeah i see them absolutely ridiculous okay so that's basically all. And then over here, this is where I spent most of the time over this way in the desert. This is where I did most of the aesthetic building. Okay. Ooh, I like this. So right here, we've got a castle and a little bit of a town here. Uh, the castle was, uh, it's more of a fortress, but it was meant to be kind of like a, almost like a chief leader kind of thing, mm -hmm. like a fortress that a chief would build. Sure. And then if you look over there, you can see the pyramid. Oh, wow. To which this tribe worships. Okay. Uh, the pyramid is hollow, but there's nothing inside of it. It's okay. just kind of a massive, empty shell. Gotcha. Um, and then over here, I've just got um, a village, kind of inspired by the Aladdin um, art style of buildings, just stacked up on top of other buildings. Sure. Right. And, yeah, the, I mean, that's basically it. Um, the pyramid was built because I knew that... Um, watching some other world tours that some people like to make graves for every time they die. But since mm -hmm. I have 200 plus deaths on the server, I figured <laughs> I needed something a little more grand. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why that sprung into existence. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> How do you die 200 plus, 200 plus times? Well, actually, a lot of it was to the pyramid. Really? When it came down to it, um, a lot of just not being very good at Minecraft, and then a lot of the iron... My first attempt at an iron farm was such a disaster that I died in it, like, 20, 30 times. Wow. Yeah, falling off things, <laughs> doing foolish acts. Fair enough. I mean, I feel like there's definitely a bit of irony in dying a bunch of times, building a monument to how many times you die. Yeah. But, uh, you know. <laughs> I like it, though. I like the uh, the castle or the fortress or whatever you want to call it quite yeah. a lot. Uh, is there Thanks. a Okay, wait. Is there a staircase that leads up to, like, the second floor? Oh, I see it. Over here. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I like this a lot, actually. Thank you. Very nice. Well, that yeah. is uh, very, very fantastic i like it a lot uh okay so next i think we are looking at angel of lights stuff who unfortunately is not able to join us today so morgan corn one of our moderators is going to be taking us through that 
So this is his nether hub. Okay. Which consists in one magnific magnificent portal. Ooh. So this is the ghostly representation of an archangel. Uh, the archangel is named Zuflas. Okay. And is uh, the archangel that's responsible for protecting the trees and the nature. Okay. And uh, when you go through the portal, you enter his realm, basically. So this is the forest with the trees that symbolize his presence. Okay. And uh, you can follow the path to come up the forest. There's a beautiful area that's been hence placed every single block on a scar. Um, wow. Then he got a bit of a starter house and stables mm -hmm. going on. And um, this goes on then uh, towards the area which is built. So you have uh, first a nature place with like the presence of the angel that's uh, granting his, uh, his protection. Mm -hmm. And particularly this uh, willow tree in the middle. So this is the weeping tree because of what the human do to earth, the angel is weeping. And uh, that's, uh, that's why the, this tree was taken as a symbol. Gotcha. Then from the tree, if you take through the big arch, uh, so you have the oversight of the evil shoes, mm -hmm. like pretty much in every base. Yep. And um, this is a mining community, which is uh, like believers and followers of Zuflas. Mm -hmm. And they are ostracized by the people who lived in the big city or the, the other side with the flags floating okay. in the air. So they believe that uh, nature must be protected and they are trying to just survive with uh, what they can gather. Okay. And from the mining, they could uh, open the ground and they found a special thing. So going down into the mining pits, they discovered a special portal that is going to uh, another dimension. Okay. So that's, that's basically binding together the end portal into the base. Okay, gotcha. So it's a, it's a modest community of traders, but they still can gather riches. Unfortunately, they don't get to to enjoy them themselves because uh, it's taken by the richer population of the of the other people of the big city of Zuflas. Mm -hmm. So we can head there. If you go through the main door here through the through the walls. Gotcha. You can discover a town that's a bit more modern and well built, but it's also so, uh, <coughs> protected by another statue of Zuflas, but it's in earthly figure. So okay. it's like this population doesn't believe in nature, it believes in like technocracy and uh, it it's not much of a presence of nature in this area. Gotcha. But they, but they still uh, worship the earthly figure of the uh, of the angel, like they saw him for the first time. Gotcha. This and, is really uh, cool. Yeah, <laughs> so much stuff here. I loved all the different wall designs and stuff too. And everything has been made like in a Hollywood style, so you don't see the surrounding. Everything is walled off, so mm -hmm. you have a, a point of view where you don't see anything that's uh, out of place. So, um, from the statue, uh, if you have the statue in front of you, if you go to the left, mm -hmm. you have the uh, passageway that goes to the richer part of the city where the aristocracy is living. Mm -hmm. And that's a third building style, which uh, symbolized uh, the people who are gathering uh -huh, okay. the wealth. Is, uh, 
Oh, I really uh, like this. I really like this design for like a Adobe this, or like Arabic style home. Absolutely. And it's really clean and it didn't have really much time and inspiration to do the interior, but uh, spread as much as it could on the, on the building themselves. Yeah, and, uh, fantastic. Tremendous amount of work went into building the walls and the, and the, the protection for the city. Yeah, I'm sure. And lastly, if you fly across the Red City Wall, mm -hmm. uh, after the statue, we have the Great, li the Great Library. Okay. Which, uh, oh, got doors since yesterday, so <laughs> it's been busy. Oh, that's good. And so this library was built to uh, mainly thank the other players on the server for their efforts. And they are all mentioned on the columns inside the, the main building. Ah, oh, okay. So, for example, uh, people uh, gathered their resources to provide the angel with 2,200 bookshelves. Okay. Mainly Grurim, I think, with his trading system. There was a lot of emeralds that went into those trades. And also quite uh, the intricate multi-layered uh, roof with, uh, with several colors of glass. And mm -hmm. It's really intricate. Yeah, this is a beautiful build. And uh, one honor, honor, honorable mention for Angel, it did all this in survival without dying even once. Wow. And uh, as a proof of it, is wearing uh, cursed equipment with either Curse of Binding or Curse of... Uh, of uh, what's the name? Uh, when it disappears. Vanishing, I think. So, uh, vanishing, yeah. So he's got his... Uh, first equipment from the beginning and never lost it a single time, hmm. which is a feat on this server. <laughs> wow, that's really impressive. This is this is fantastic. I love the the layered designs with all the bookshelves and stuff in the library. Yeah, it's very Harry Potter-y. <laughs> yeah. The... yeah, it is. I like Moving it a lot. stairs and yeah, it's Damn. beautiful. It's gorgeous. Um... Yeah, and Angel made uh, time lapse of many buildings uh, on his YouTube channel. So if you want to look for it, it's uh, Angel Gaming. And uh, if you put the keyword World's Night, you're going to find it. Yeah, I'll have links to everybody in the description and stuff as well. So perfect. Um, yeah, check that so, out. Fantastic. Okay, cool. So that's it. Uh, so next is Lee. Is that right? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to top this, but. <laughs> So this is the industrial section base. It's it's vastly unfinished, but it's just where I kept all my farms. So, and I tried to base it sort of around, at least for some of the buildings, around the sort of places you'd find them. So, this nether brick building houses my nether wall farm. Over here, you've got the kelp. I mean, it's horrendously unfinished, but that's my kelp farm. I've got a cactus farm and a large uh, sugarcane farm just over here. Okay. All your standards. We have to jump off the balcony because no staircase. <laughs> but as we head over here, this is, this is the main section. This is obviously the residential section. So these large two buildings oh, okay. pretty... are just my warehouses. Uh, I built two for the symmetry, but uh, one of them obviously holds all my chests and whatnot. But uh, a, a lot of these houses are empty. I have, but I've tried to decorate it around, you know, just to give it, uh, try and give it a little bit more light. Mm -hmm. Um, but no, so I have just a small blacksmithing area here. Uh, in here would be my super smelter, where the design might look slightly familiar. I wonder how many times the super smelter has been built on this server. Probably quite a few times. <laughs> but uh, if we continue out this way, 
Uh, we have just a library in here. It's. I was planning on having each chest be full of uh, each different type of enchantment, so you'd have one for efficiency and silk mm -hmm. touch and so on. A lot of I just didn't have enough bookshelves, but you still get you still get the image. Yep. It was a fun build. If we head out and to the left around here past the church and the graveyard and like like Shin was saying a lot of us have graveyards I mean this isn't up to date after today but uh, just a lot of them are mainly to elytra deaths because you can't seem to fly very well <laughs> but if we could I mean a lot of these yeah a lot of these houses are empty and didn't get enough chance to furnish them or really give any you know sense of living in this town so just replace it with pink tulips yeah, why not? this this was my plan i was gonna uh, build a dock going out here i mean you can definitely tell there's nothing here there was gonna be a giant statue of steer because be because why not yeah i mean that's a valid reason <laughs> exactly <laughs> but if we head just round here take off these i mean there's one building it's, but it it was going to be my sort of military district i was going to build a couple barracks uh target practice mm -hmm. horses everything like that just didn't get the chance i mean it's a running theme with my base eat some food and then as we head round over here past my little stables where I've got a couple horses head over the bridge and into the farming district which is I mean it's a farming district you've got fields of wheat you have a small little farmhouse a, a sheep pen with all the different colored sheep in and then just behind the farmhouse is a very large cow pen just where I was getting all my leather and food from gotcha and then if we finally head over this bridge just swim we reach my just small little market it's very standard just not nothing's being sold because again time constraints and not but the uh, overall very happy with it yeah i like it i think what's impressive about this whole thing is just the the quantity of yes everything I, I, you know i feel like i definitely went for quantity because it it's nice seeing being able to fly over and just seeing buildings and that sense of there being life whether or not everything's detailed or not it's it looks like a town or a city. Yeah, exactly. Like, I think if you take each, any of these individual builds, for the most part, there's, I mean, like, the, the church is obviously a little bit nicer than average and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But I think if you take, like, any of these individual houses, they're nothing really like, that special. But then when you've got, you have, what, probably, like, 40 houses uh, here? Yeah. <laughs> or something? Same how that, yeah. Something like that. You know, like, that's when it's like, wow, this is actually pretty impressive, you know? Um, and I do, yeah. I do a lot of the same thing. If you look at like kingdoms, for example, you know, none of those houses on their own are really all that impressive. But then when you have an entire city's worth of them, then it's suddenly something a lot yeah. more, uh, you know, interesting. So. Exactly. It just looks, I mean, if you minus the detail, but it just include a lot more it overall looks mm -hmm. much better. I feel like. Yeah, totally agree. But cool. That, yeah. That's that's my base. All right. Well, I like it very much. Uh, moving on, we have Gururum and uh, Ale the Prime. Aloe <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Vera Prime? What, what was... <laughs> Cl close enough. I'll answer to that. <laughs> All right. And so this tunnel is... Um... So one of the themes for a number of people was go big or go home for this season. Uh, and so I happen to be watching a stream um, by a gentleman called Miles Pernicious. And I 
was looking for a theme for our nether tunnels because uh, Gru and myself and two other people uh, all based kind of basically in the same area. And so as soon as I saw this tunnel, I knew that since a lot of us were near water, this would be absolutely perfect. And Gru was kind enough to mine out the entire thing um, and place all of the, uh, the cyan concrete. Um, and then I ended up doing all the detailing and um, helping out with, with the uh, resource gathering. So doing all of the custom trees and the islands and all of that. Um, and I'm actually, I'm super, super happy with how it turned out in the end. Yeah, I like this a lot, actually. Yep. And then just for fun, um, I also decided to uh, make it so that way the different bases were little caves that people could go into. Um, whereas just the sandstone islands were just kind of fun little decorations along the side. Gotcha. And it's all spawn proof as well, it looks like. It's all spawn proof. Very nice. I would probably cry if a gas got in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got our little villagers and our llamas in the boats along the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is gorgeous. I love it. Thank you. Yeah, we affectionately began calling it the wind tunnel when I finally got it all dug out because it looked like just a massive tunnel that, you know, they test out aircraft and whatnot in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can see that. And then yep. did you have so, uh, a base to show as well? Uh, no, I have a concept that didn't... I, yeah, was a little ambitious in this season, was just tough, so... Yeah, uh, fair enough. Gru can go ahead and show his base. That would be in this cave right here. Okay. So first was I wanted to do a unique concept with the redstone ore, which you can see as we walk. Ah, and then in okay. the cave as well. Gotcha. And then the floor kind of gives kind of like a foreshadowing of what my base ended up being. I liked the fog effect. Yeah. My little pet gas that ended up spawning in here, so he got name tagged and kept. Fair enough. And then main center portal is where everything kind of starts. Okay. And I started from the very beginning of... I wanted to collect all the heads since we put uh, Exuma's head, more mob heads pack in here. Mm -hmm. So this is the collection and that right there is the curator. Uh, of course, it's got Stina's head because yes, Stina. And then look at the trades on it and you'll see why it was kept. <laughs> he just... <laughs> <laughs> just really likes punch one. All right. Exactly. And so now this would be where we would probably want to all go into spectator mode. Alrighty. So is that, that doing it or? Um, I don't think I can do there, some. There we I can go. Do. And yeah, you, you could just go up through the ceiling and you can begin to see the base. Oh, wow. That's huge. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to get the uh, render distance up, so you kind of got to fly over it to see the whole thing. But, uh, yeah. I didn't really set out to do this at the beginning, uh, but I did want to do something circular. So what I, I was basically going on was the Fibonacci spiral, which this is as close as you can conceivably get in Minecraft, of course. Mm-hmm. And I just, yeah, the, the idea grew from I wanted to do something somewhat artistically small and easy to, like Alisa said, go big or go home. You are moderately insane. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I was told that more than a couple of times as things progressed. Wow. But uh, everything, the, the fun part is, there's a couple of things on the perimeter, like my iron farm and my uh, charged creeper farm. But essentially, right down through the center is where I live. Like, everything that I needed, my farms, my storage, was all just down through the center. Okay. And I even built aquariums in here to, yeah, just be something interesting. Gotcha. Wow, this is really impressive. It, it took a lot of time, but it, it is very simple in its, you know, design. The math gave me a headache when I first started because, yeah, 
just getting circular stuff this big yeah. is not. <laughs> well, yeah, because you got to do, you know, normally you look up like a Minecraft circle chart or something. So the funny thing is the one that everybody typically uses um, plots only goes up to 256. Yeah, that's and actually exactly to... what I was just about to say is you, you get yeah, like a circle chart. Get... And it goes... I, was lucky enough, <laughs> I was lucky enough to find a site somebody else who essentially was trying to do a similar project in Minecraft like eight years ago or whatever, mm -hmm. built their own using, I think, job or whatever that would go up to, I believe they maxed out at over a thousand. Mm. So I was lucky enough to have found that and been able to then go for this because each angle itself needed to be calculated, not just at the, the base width, but it actually had to be larger because of the whole Fibonacci kind of thing. It's only a, a quarter arc rather than a half arc or whatever mm -hmm. so yeah i had to end up i think the last phase of it i had to take a circle that was 700 kick there 700 blocks wide and then take the quarter arc from that to complete it so mm -hmm. yeah that, that's basically it wow. it was simple but large yeah that's just crazy <laughs> <laughs> it's got the wow factor that's for sure that's what I was hoping for. Once I got it going, I was like, well, I got to finish this because I got to. Yeah, that's, man, props. That's that's <laughs> nuts. Like, I can't, I can't even words. Hmm. And then you've got, yeah, I see. If I go into spectator, I can kind of zoom out and see all the, the inner bits of the base and stuff as well. Yeah, it's fun if you actually get in a boat and just go underneath the whole thing. The coral reefs that are in the area really look... I mean, it's one of Minecraft's best additions is having the lit up coral reefs mm -hmm. in there. And it looks really cool when you have the entire thing basically dark. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Very cool. Okay, well, um, I think we have one more tour left for today. Uh, and that is Morgoran and... Is it Jarek? Jarek? How, how do you pronounce it? Jarek. Jarek. Okay, so like I was over three there, but close enough. Anyway, <laughs> so we're going to look at that. Okay, we went for the city approach. Um, this is our uh, Dragon Island. This is where you'd come in from the portal. Okay. Um, kind of like the visiting dignitaries. Um, and it connects into our harbor. Um I really like the dragon design. Yeah, it's um Jarek, you remember the name? I, I do not remember the name. We do uh, have it linked e evil, to evil sketch, I think. And then um as you go into the harbor, you can see some of the ships and the defenses of the harbor. Okay. Oh, and you got airships. Yeah, there's a single airship. Um oh, okay. It's actually an armed airship. Uh, Evil Shoes actually <laughs> put cannons on it for us, so it'll actually launch fireworks. Gotcha. I'm a sucker for airships. Like, always have been. Yeah, I, I'm kind of fond of that one, too, because it was one of the one of the first things we put up out here. So um, so the airship and the the first smaller ship here are, are my designs. Mm -hmm. um, the big ship is a Lord Dacker, so... I'm sure you can recognize the level of detail that's on it. Yeah, um, that's fantastic. You know what this totally reminds me of is uh, Port Bray from Realm of Vastin, which I've toured a couple times. Yeah, we're actually on uh, Vastin Dimensions now, the two of us. So we're uh, on that uh, in that environment as well. So yeah, this totally gives me Port Bray vibes. Which it was is actually your tour video that got us into Vastin. Oh yeah. <laughs> that, all that and I was like that is so me and Morgan yeah yeah I actually uh, I think that's what like half the people on Vastin told me the last time I toured it I was like oh yeah we saw your tour video and we got in touch and and here we are so yeah but over here is just the market area for the dock okay yeah, this is a couple warehouses one of them's full of all the different trade goods gotcha some little market stalls and stuff. Okay. 
and then um, up the harbor this way is um, the entry into the town. Okay, I see. And it goes along here. Yeah, we did actually put up stick figure guards all along the wall. So there's... With all the heads we got from killing monsters out here. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, and before I around the edges of the wall, you'll see all the stick figure guards. Yep, and on the ships, there's little uh, guys there. So our portal is actually, this is our main portal. It's inside the uh, custom dark oak there. It's actually my first attempt at custom tree, so I think it came out rather nice. Yeah. And this is actually the center of our build. Yep. The, the tree actually marks the center of the build. Okay. And then in this direction, we've got another market area, which is kind of like the the land-based market. So people all coming through the main gate would, would come to this market. Mm -hmm. um, we actually just staffed it today. Okay. Um, then we've got uh, you know, an apothecary here, um, mead hall, because obviously everything's in the Nordic style. Yep. And then um, off in the direction of the town here, we've got a full villager town. Um, not quite as many houses as the last town we went through, but uh, we do have a fair amount. Uh, we do have villagers wandering around along with iron golems. Uh, majority of these houses are actually decorated inside. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. This is the super smelter. I'm sure you recognize the design. Indeed, the super Again. smelter. <laughs> yeah, we just tried to go for more decoration for our builds rather than quantity, I guess. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of quantity here, though, too. Because, like, everything yeah. that you see here within render distance, this was all you guys, right? Yep. This... Yeah, like, there's a lot of quantity here in addition to quality. There's just... This is a lot of stuff. Yeah, the city here we actually built in our first two weeks. Oh, wow. And um, the wall took me the first two weeks because I went through four tries. <laughs> yeah, it took four tries going for the wall we liked. Yeah, I could see it. I like uh, I do like the wall design that you set a lot ultimately, but yeah, walls can be kind of like headache. Yeah, yeah cause <laughs> I put it up, we didn't like it. I took it all down. We're yep. talking the whole wall. All try it again, try it again. Yep. Or you come up with a wall design, then you're like, oh man, I like this, and then you need it to like round a corner, and you're like, wow, I didn't think about that. And now I don't. That's like why it, this you know? design works so well, <laughs> is because it's got that generic shape. So when you take a corner, you just got to end it at the right spot. Yep. To take a corner. Okay. And then um, across the, the river here, um, over uh, Rose Bridge, that's what we called it. I'm sure you can see why. Oh, uh, yep. There's uh, Big Lord's Mansion. Is that, which one's the Lord's Mansion? It's the one with the dragon. Uh, it looks like a dragon. Yeah, we're right left. in front of it. There you Sorry. go. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, the one with like the nether brick walkway yep. in front of it. Gotcha. Okay. So it's the whole thing's meant to look like a dragon. So the the, the two claws coming forward and the the big swooped roof in the back to look like the wings. Oh yeah, I see it now. I didn't know when I was looking at it before. I saw it. Uh, I was looking at it like straight on from the front, so I couldn't see the dragon head. Yeah, you kind of had to angle at it to see. Yeah, the but now I but see it. it. Yeah, that's really cool. I like it. And that that's decorated inside as well. Uh, kinda. <laughs> it was supposed to be our our house, but uh, our, our rooms never got decorated. Yeah. Um, if we want to fly from here, I guess. We've got a windmill and our large, you know, wheat field, carrot field. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got another village straight south that's actually like the uh, trading partner with the first village because it's, you know, completely different build style, different, so it's like a different set of villagers all together. Okay. Um, we've got our own little wells way here. Gotcha. That would take you back up to the other area. And we've got the big chateau on the hill. Mm-hmm. 
and pretty much tried to fill all the space. This was all f plains, so all these trees we planted. Oh, wow. Um, all the builds. Um, and then as you move further in, you can see the castle. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. There's way more and, here than I thought there was. It just keeps, like, yeah. new stuff just keeps rendering in. <laughs> yeah, you can't see it all from one spot. So the castle, the hill that the castle's on didn't exist. This was flat. Okay. We actually built up the whole hill. And then we uh, built up the a little bit more to put the castle on top of the hill. Um, the individual towers of the castle, of course, kind of mimic the designs of the towers elsewhere. Mm -hmm. um, it is partially decorated inside. There's like uh, a barracks, uh, there's a throne in there. Um, but for the most part, it's still undecorated just because of how big it is. Yeah. Um, it is all accessible, but it's it's done in medieval style. So um, all the stairs and everything are kind of twisting and turning, so you can't just go from one place to another, which mm -hmm. is part of the defense. Yep. Um, then we've got you know the big iceberg here because there's actually an ice spikes just just off over uh, the the back of the castle. There's an ice spike, so we did a our own kind of glacier here with a river coming off of it. Mm -hmm. um, Jarek did that one day. We put the, so we put the beacons underneath it down in the hollow area underneath the hill. Mm -hmm. And also back behind the castle there is our is our reaper shoe, which um, we actually were, we're, were graced with that first. So we uh, we earned the, the gaze of the, the reaper shoe first. Okay. Uh, that's how evil <laughs> describes it anyway. Um, underneath the castle, there's a little... Uh, there's another uh, train station on the subway, mm -hmm. which has a little decoration in it. Probably don't want to bother with the minecart. But I did a little kind of Smurf village down okay. here with the mushroom houses. Gotcha. So as as you go by on the minecart, you can see the the different mushroom houses and whatnot. But if you get too far into the details, obviously it's not completely filled in. But yeah, so yeah, you can you can tell how much hill we had to build up to. Yeah, get get it as tall as we needed it to for the cast. Yep, I can see. And so we textured the ceiling in here, so as you're going through, it doesn't look like just a big flat ceiling. Yep. Man, this is something. And there's two more quick builds um, uh, west of here, or east of here. Sorry. Right? I don't know my directions. East, south, east. No, west. I'm heading west. West. So, west it is. <laughs> we've got uh, we've got an abbey church here. Okay. With It's got its own little kind of palisade wall mm -hmm. and church buildings. Um, that was something that Jarek saw in a, uh, do you think you can build this picture? So we did. Gotcha. And then if you keep going down that road there, there's a fort, which would be like where the defenders of the harbor would would be um, camped. So gotcha. Wow, this is this is super impressive. Oh man, you even got like a little shipwreck over here and stuff. Yeah, the shipwreck is the naturally occurring one, and that's actually why we picked this bay, is because that was already there. Oh really? Yep. Huh. Figured it'd fit right in with our theme. Yeah. Yeah. So we started in January, so we were actually kind of latecomers. Oh, so you did all this within like the last like six months? Yeah. Um, actually, we finished the city, the the lower city. We finished by February. We did the castle in March, um, and then we've got a big municipal build too that we did um, in April. Wow. Yeah, and then the last thing out here is out in the forest area is a lumber, lumber camp. Oh yeah, I completely forgot the lumber camp. <laughs> yeah, it's been here pretty much as long as everything else. Yeah, if you want to TP to me or Jarek, you can see the lumber yeah, camp. Yeah, I'm here. Yep. Gotcha. So we we did actually use this as a actually functional. We grew trees here and we provided them to the rest of the community. Oh, so. Cool. Yep, but then when we were done, we just decorated it out, so when we weren't growing trees. 
And the really cool thing is if you stand here at night and look up at the castle, the view is amazing. Very cool. Wow. Wow, man. That's... <laughs> oh, yeah. This is good stuff. This is like... I love the fact that you've got a few different styles. Like, they're all kind of within that, like, rustic medieval sort of, like, time frame. Um... Uh, but, like, you've got a variety of different stuff. Like, you've got the houses here uh, versus, like, the more Tudor style or Waddle and Dobb style versus, like, you almost have kind of like a Mediterranean style over kind of down at that farther village. Like, just got a very nice variety of different stuff here, and everything is, like, really well done. I'm super impressed. Thanks. Cool. Well, guys, I think we are pretty much out of time for this episode. So we got to call this one right here. We have uh, another set of bases next time, and then we get to dive into the community builds. So, my friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.